So I wanted to do a history vid on the T92 because it looks weird and weird things make me curious. In this video, we'll explore the interesting facts, history, and the performance of this tank, including why it was designed, what battles it might have fought in, how many were made, etc. Firstly, let's start with some interesting facts about the T92 tank. The T92 was a light tank designed in the late 1940s by the United States Army. It was a unique in its design, as it featured a hydraulically operated suspension system that could adjust the height of the tank's hull to increase its stability and maneuverability. Additionally, it had a low profile, which made it difficult for enemy tanks to spot and target. It was designed to be highly mobile and agile. The tank could be used for reconnaissance and infantry support. The tank was also amphibious, which gave it the ability to cross rivers and other bodies of water. Yes, the T-92 tank was actually designed to be amphibious. It was equipped with a flotation screen that could be erected around the tank to provide buoyancy in the water, and had a pair of water jets mounted on the rear of the hull for propulsion in the water. The tank's amphibious capabilities were intended to make it more versatile and flexible on the battlefield, allowing it to cross rivers and other bodies of water without the need for bridges or other specialized equipment. However, the T-92's amphibious performance was not particularly impressive in testing, and the flotation screen proved to be somewhat difficult to erect and remove. As the result, the amphibious capability of the T-92 was not a major factor in its development, and was ultimately not considered a significant advantage for the tank. Now, let's dive into the history of this thing. The tank was designed as a replacement for the M41 Walker Bulldog, which was a light tank that had served in the Korean War. The army wanted a more advanced tank that could keep up with the faster and more heavily armored tanks of the Soviet Union. The T-92 was first tested in 1957, and although it performed well, it was not put into production due to its high cost and the fact that the army's focus had shifted toward developing medium tanks. However, the design of the T-92 was not wasted, as it influenced the development of future light tanks, such as the M551 Sheridan. Despite not being put into production, the T-92 did see action in the field. It was deployed to Germany in the early 1960s as part of the Army's efforts to modernize its tank force. It was also used in various training exercises and war games. Now, let's talk about the performance of the T-92 tank. As mentioned earlier, the tank had a unique hydraulic operated suspension system that allowed it to adjust its height and increase its stability and maneuverability. It was also equipped with a 76mm gun, which was capable of penetrating the armor of most enemy tanks at the time. However, the tank's low profile also meant that it had a lower silhouette and thinner armor compared to other tanks of the time. This made it vulnerable to enemy fire, and its lack of armor also meant that it could not survive a direct hit from a large caliber gun. Finally, let's discuss how many T-92 tanks were actually made. Only one prototype of the T-92 was ever built, and it is currently on display at the Pad Museum of Calvary and Armor in Fort Knox, Kentucky. Despite not going into production, the T-92 was an important stepping stone in the development of future light tanks, and influenced the design of many tanks that followed it. In conclusion, the T-92 American tank was a unique and advanced tank that was ahead of its time. Although it was not put into production, it was an important part of the Army's efforts to modernize its tank force and influence the development of future tanks. Its hydraulically operated suspension system, low profile, and 76mm gun were innovative features that set it apart from other tanks of the time. And while it never saw widespread use in battle, it played an important role in the evolution of tank technology. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos about history, military technology, and more.